Time, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be taking 10 grams out of the XM1 half end game gear to make it a feather like mouse. Current stock weight is 70 grams out of the box. You're going to need to cut out some of the parts of this mouse, it's not a non destructible one, so you're going to need to chop some pieces out of it, unfortunately, to get this weight down. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. If you're also not sure how to take the mouse apart, there's a full teardown. I've done a bottle link in the description for this. Maybe able to do this without damaging the mouse. And if you're not sure what this channel is about, it's about modding mice. It's also about reviewing mice for latency. So go check out some of my other videos as well. Assume whether we could trim out uh, under here on this little bar front here. There's a piece of plastic, so I think. That's it. Focus this piece here. I can probably get rid of that. Might keep that clip. There's one clip. But I think we could probably take out most of that. Just making sure it doesn't interfere with the buttons because that's where they come in. It shouldn't do, but you never know. Get the old nail file out of it, tidy this up. So that extra bike, probably remove that. things you can see in here because it's translucent you can see all the work that's been scratched out of it so it's one thing to pay attention to I mean you probably notice it when the shell's on but you can kind of see where you're drilling it and stuff when you put the base on maybe if you're bothered that is you're not gonna see it like that but just be careful because if you don't want to see any of the work inside the translucent paint on this one or well it's not paint is it translucent that translucent texture Shows the uh, face of the sanding and stuff inside. I don't know if taking out that much from the front because it's quite a big plate there is either a good idea or a bad idea. I'm curious why it was left in. Quite a lot of people would leave them in. I don't know if companies just, I guess, follow other people's designs and don't really think a little bit out of the box or whether they uh, generally work out by testing that actually needs that. So you can see like 
There's no reason for that extra plastic. You need these extra bits here to stop the, um, you know, this bit. That stops the mouse button from being pulled upwards. So, Ram off it, maybe, I think. Been 13, it was 15 grams on. Question is, do I draw the rear mounts? I guess we can. If we keep the um, sensors around, we can take these posts out, which gives us more space to get some more weight out of the back, which is what we'll do, I think. Chunk taken out. It's not thin base.
don't have to take much out of it. Maybe half a gram. Right, well, let's put it back together. So it's going to be under 60 grams. So 58 grams, not bad, with all the buttons still. It's pretty tidy. Um, it's going to be 50, 59 maybe with the cable. 